Today we're turning my old lawnmower into an unmanned multi-role vehicle. I need an unmanned vehicle like this to act as a test bed for developing some tech for several upcoming projects. We need a donor vehicle that is reliable, tough as nails, and most importantly, very cheap. I have something in mind. Yeah, you can borrow it, just don't tear it up. Okay, do you mind if I drive it home? Like three miles? Yeah. I like to design everything I can in the computer because it gives you a great visual of what it's gonna look like when it's done. For this project, I started with the basic outer dimensions of the lawnmower to build the armor shell around. Getting started can be really tough, so I just move plates around until it starts to take shape. For a sheet metal design like this, we wanna arrange the plates in a way that leaves a gap for welding so we can grind it flat later. It's really hard to come up with a design from scratch without any creative inspiration, but it's totally rewarding when you can take full credit for the way it looks. I got all the files loaded up in the plasma table for one of the sheets, so let's get cutting. I love manufacturing because there's an unlimited amount of things to learn about it, from metallurgy to CAD designing to engineering and stress testing, it is limitless. While we've got it upside down on the table here, nice and flat, I'm gonna install this frame onto the rear hood because we're gonna be putting stuff on the hood and I want it to be really strong. See, I like to use gravity as much as I can because it's free and cheap. We have to use this sander on all of the metal so that the paint has little scratches that it can bind into and last a lot longer. Yeah, okay, we're in business. We're gonna see what the color looks like now. Ready? Oh yeah! That looks military for sure. Cool. <laughs> I love it. It looks just like a Hummer wheel. Oh my gosh. The beadlock rims are just to make it look tough. It doesn't really need them. Painted stencils look way better than stickers. The little nuanced fades and the not quite perfect lines just make it look cool.
Cubby is starting to look really good. All we have to do now is add the remote control parts. For phase one, we're gonna use some basic RC car parts just to make sure that Cubby is dialed in. For phase two, we will add a microcontroller to run some really simple automations. And for phase three, we'll add industrial components so they're really tough and a whole different protocol for fully autonomous driving. I took the throttle cable off and this is what we need to move to run the throttle. <laughs> yes! My big steering servo has stopped working and that's super annoying because we were so close to test driving it. But I removed the controller board here and I think I found the problem, luckily. There's a crack. From where it got damaged in shipping? Right there. I'm gonna solder those together and I think it might fix it. Little, big old glob on there. That it appears that was not our issue. That's a huge bummer. Because the servo controller board is junk, we have to kind of manually make another one and it's way more complicated. These are all the parts we need. Of course I use AI to write this code because why would you write it by hand? I just give it all the pinouts and what I'm trying to do and then I can go through and read and make sure that it makes sense and add things later like safety features and whatnot. This is what it looks like when it's working properly. We could set him up on like a recon perimeter where he just does this every couple hours autonomously. Yeah, it's not super fast, but that's the whole reason we use the lawnmower because I'm gonna be developing things on it and I don't want some vehicle that could... And I don't want it to be able to smash through things at 100 miles an hour. It's a big trailer.
<laughs> this is awesome. I love it. There's like no RC cars that can tow your trailers. That's really fun. Why isn't this more popular? Okay, the steering works way better in reverse. <laughs> there he goes. He's off to start a new life with a new family. <laughs> Wait, let's go on the road. What are we doing? Why am I not in the boat? <laughs> Wait, hold up. This is amazing. To the lake. It's getting very dark. Introducing Cubby on nighttime mode. Shout out to Baja Designs for hooking Cubby up. It is so bright. What a utility vehicle, dude. This thing is sick. It looks like a little Mars rover. I love it. Disappointed with the overall speed. But it looks cool. This is very temporary. I'm gonna smoke it. Oh my gosh, dude! Pull over! Pull over! <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. No, no. <laughs> Go, come here, get out of the way. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Go, come here, go. Oh, that's right. We showed him. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. That's scary. 
I, I'm <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's so it's so scary yet innocent and cute at the same time. You know, I've been thinking about something. I wonder. Helicopter test in case we ever have to fly into an active LZ. He's trapped <laughs> like a wild bull. Yes! Oh, it works so good! It's very balanced. Literally pulling the whole excavator. That's insane. Certainly passed the lifting test, no problem. So I'm right in the middle of putting new transmissions in Monster Max. And if you would like to purchase the old ones, email info at propdepartment.com. We're looking to sell them. Pretty, where's Cubby? What? Where's Cubby? Cubby had to go home. Where'd you put him? He wasn't feeling well and... He can't make his own decisions yet. Well, he... Let's just, I'll put it this way. He got into a little bit of an accident on his way home. Oh my god, really? And you might want to check out. Where is he? Like his bike. Where'd he go? He careened off the driveway and hit a tree at 50 miles. Oh my god! <laughs> How did that happen? It just drove up the hill. It's Actually? Gone. Yeah. Where's the controller? I don't know. Oh, that's not where I put it. That's not where I... Uh, I think that's where it was at. I had it set down over there. No, I didn't. Uh, Huh. What? How? So Barrel guy. Oh, hey, Cubby's so reliable. Look at him go. Oh, he's one. <laughs> oh, yeah, you need a transmission brought into like an active war zone or something? Oh my gosh, it's gonna totally fall off. Actually, don't stick in the spokes trick. Didn't quite work. Prop department is more than just a YouTube channel, building things for entertainment only. We're doing real experiments with real tech to develop things that are actually of use. And I'm teaching myself engineering so that someday I can hopefully make an impact on the world.